simplify the complex fraction. There are two different ways you can simplify con complex fractions. One is to turn the problem into one fraction on top divided by one fraction on the bottom. And then the other way you could do it is multiply every term by the LCD of the entire uh, complex fraction. I'm going to use this one fraction over one fraction method because it, most of my students prefer that method. All right, so first thing we want to do is we've got three fractions on top. We want to have just one fraction, which means we need to figure out the LCD of the top. And that's going to be x cubed. So we're going to force every single fraction on the top to have an x cubed as the denominator. So that means this first one gets multiplied by x squared, top and bottom. This one gets multiplied by just an x, top and bottom. And the last one doesn't need anything. It's already x cubed. We're also going to do the same for the bottom. We're going to find what is the LCD of the bottom. And the LCD of the bottom is x squared. Think of this guy over here as 3 over 1. So the first fraction here, 3 over 1, gets multiplied by x squared top and bottom to give it an x squared on the bottom. The next one gets an x top and bottom. And the last one already has the x squared, so it's all set. So now we can rewrite what we have. The top three fractions turn into 3x squared, take away 13x, take away 30, all over the common denominator for the top, which is x cubed. The bottom turns into 3x squared plus 14x plus 15, all over x squared. So that's the first step. Make sure you have one fraction being divided by another fraction. And the key to this process is that this fraction bar separating the two fractions really means division. You're dividing the top by the bottom. So what we're going to do is change divide to multiply. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to have this top fraction 3x squared minus 13x take away 30 all over x cubed instead of divided by we do times the reciprocal of the bottom so flip the bottom one x squared over 3x squared plus 14x plus 15 now we use the steps for multiplying fractions the first thing we're going to want to do is factor so we can see what the common factors are. And after we factor, we're going to be able to cancel, cancel any common factors. So factoring the trinomial 3x squared minus 13x take away 30 gives us 3x plus 5x take away 6. And if you're rusty on factoring trinomials, take a look at the um, search on the factoring trinomial videos at my um, YouTube channel and you'll be able to see some practice problems with that. And that's over x cubed times x squared over and the 3x squared plus 14x plus 15 factors is 3x plus 5 times x plus 3. Now we want to look and see what's in common and cancel the common factors. So let's see we got 3x plus 5 top and bottom, gone. We have an x cubed and x squared. That means that two x's can cancel on the top, two on the bottom, leaving us one on the bottom. And that looks like it. So after we cancel, we have x take away 6 over x times x plus 3. And that would be our final answer.